Hello again, everybody. The title of this book is The Magic School Bus Presents Insects. What insects do you see on the cover? I see a long caterpillar, big blue butterfly, a red ladybug, and the teacher is dressed up like a bumblebee. You see these yellow and black stripes? What is an insect? Name an insect, said Miss Frizzle. Beetle, shouted Arnold. A butterfly, shouted Keisha. You're both right, said the Frizz. Insects have three pairs of legs, wings, and no backbones. Let's go meet some. Here's the parts of an insect. Their head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, antenna, and their eyes and mouth are on their head, just like your eyes and mouth are on your head. How do insects breathe? All animals need oxygen to survive. They use it to turn food into the energy that powers their bodies. There is oxygen in air and in water. A large animal, like a human, gets its oxygen by breathing air into the lungs. But insects do not have lungs. Instead, their bodies are covered in tiny holes called spiracles. Air comes in through these openings and then flows to all parts of their bodies. Tough beetles. There are more types of beetles than any other kind of insect. They include ladybugs and fireflies. Beetles have rounded bodies covered in tough armor. They live in all sorts of places. Some swim in ponds, while others live on top of sand dunes. Can beetles fly? Most beetles can fly. They keep their wings safe beneath, beneath tough covers on their backs. Like most flying insects, beetles have four wings. When it is time to fly, the beetle folds the covers out of the way and the flying wings go to work. Even large beetles like the Titan, which is six and a half inches long, can fly, although it does not go very fast. Here are some beetles. This beetle has lots of beautiful colors on it. It's called a jewel beetle. This is beetle larva, like a baby beetle, called a grub. And this one is called a giraffe weevil. Look at that long part of their body. It looks like a neck, like a giraffe's neck. Beautiful butterflies. Butterflies are easy to see as they flutter around flowers on a sunny day. Butterflies and moths belong to the same group of insects. Both have four wings, but the front and back wings on each side lock together and work like one large wing. Here's the butterfly's body. They use their legs to taste, which is interesting. Look at this, this says, the butterfly knows if something is good to eat just by standing on it. Hmm. The butterfly has eyes for watching flowers and their antenna are used for smelling and touching and some more tasting. And of course, Many butterflies are bright and beautiful colors. Here's a picture of the butterfly drinking. There's this proboscis, which is part of their head, and it unrolls to drink the nectar from the flowers. It's like a sweet juice in the flower. The life cycle of a butterfly. A butterfly starts, at, starts life as a caterpillar, which hatches from an egg. The caterpillar grows very fast and soon becomes a motionless pupa, hanging from a branch. Inside, the caterpillar changes. When the pupa opens, a butterfly flies away. <clears throat> There's the A, out pops a caterpillar, which creates a pupa, and inside, the caterpillar changes to a butterfly. Hopping crickets. Crickets and grasshoppers are noisy insects. They communicate by making loud clicking sounds. 
Crickets call to each other by rubbing rough sections of their wings together. Grasshoppers rub their wings and legs together. All about insects. Locusts. All about locusts. Some grasshoppers breed rapidly when there is a lot of food around. This can happen in warm, dry parts of the world after a drought when food has become scarce. Grasshoppers crowd together, eating whatever they can find. That's what starts a swarm. When they swarm, the grasshoppers develop into locusts. They form a huge cloud and fly around. More and more locusts join until eventually the swarm contains millions of insects. When they all eat at once, they can completely destroy farmers' crops. True bugs. Insects and other creepy crawlies are often called bugs. But bugs are actually just one type of insect, including cicadas, aphids, and water striders. Bugs look a lot like beetles, but they have mouth parts. Unlike beetles, you can usually see the tips of their wings sticking out at the back. Oh, here's a really up-close picture of a cicada. How do bugs eat? A true bug has a long needle-shaped mouth part called a stylet that it uses to suck up liquid food. Most bugs drink sap, a liquid inside plant stems and roots. Sap is not a very good source of food. It's mostly water with a little bit of sugar. So bugs spend a lot of time feeding. Army of ants. Ants live and work as a team to support a queen ant. All the other ants in the nest are called workers. Some build the nest. Normally, a network of channels and chambers underground. Others fight off attackers. The oldest workers collect food from outside the nest. The queen ant lays eggs, and her workers look after the young ants that hatch. They keep them clean and give them food. These ants left a trail of scent so they could find their way back to their nest. How do ant colonies work? All worker ants are female. They are the daughters of the queen, who lays most of the eggs in a colony. Some workers lay eggs to produce male ants. The workers also look after their baby sisters, who will become workers once they're old enough. Bees and wasps. The wings of these paper wasps from Costa Rica look purple in the night. See, look, can you see how they look almost purple? Bees and wasps are related to ants, and many of them live in colonies supporting a queen. Their bodies have yellow and black stripes, a warning that these insects sting. Many wasps and bees hunt for other insects, which they bring back to their nests to feed to their young. This is a honeybee worker. The honeybee sucks up nectar from flowers and stores it in a pouch in its throat. A bee collects pollen from a flower and carries it back to the nest in balls stuck to its back legs. Inside a beehive is a honeycomb, a series of chambers used to store food. The honeycomb also holds young bees as they grow. Why do bees make honey? Honey is the honeybee's food. All the bees, young and old, eat it. To make honey, worker bees put the nectar and a bit of pollen they've collected into a chamber in the honeycomb. They fan the liquid so it dries into a thick, sweet goo, honey. The bees store the honey to use as a food in winter when there are fewer flowers. They make so much that humans can have some too. Acrobatic flyers. Flies are a group of fast flying insects that have only two wings. They include houseflies and mosquitoes. Flies are very acrobatic creatures. They can fly upside down, do somersaults, and even go backwards. Houseflies start out as maggots.
They have no legs and do nothing but eat. Mosquitoes are small flies that suck blood. Houseflies can't bite or chew, so they can only eat food in liquid form. Why is it so hard to swat a fly? Like nearly all insects, flies have compound eyes, thousands of tiny lenses all looking at the same thing. That means flies can detect an object, like a swatter, the moment it starts moving toward them and can dodge quickly out of the way. The prey mantis. Look at it spreading its front legs. Under threat, a praying mantis rises up on its back legs and stretches its front legs to make itself look as big as possible. Praying mantises are fierce hunters. They wait for smaller insects and ambush them with lightning speed. A mantis grabs its prey in its huge front legs, which are folded into pinchers. The mantis has large eyes to spot prey, and it can swivel its head around to see behind it. Different mantis species have different colors. They often choose to camouflage themselves in locations where they blend in with the environment. There's one in this picture that's pink. Can you see it? It's really tough to see, but if I look closely, I could see its head and an antenna. Cockroaches. A cockroach can eat almost any food. In homes, it can survive on scraps of food, grease, even soap and glue. One insect no one likes to see is the cockroach. In the wild, cockroaches eat rotting wood and fungus, but they are also found in homes. The roaches stay out of sight during the day, but come out at night to search for scraps of food. What makes an insect a pest? Roaches have spread all over the world in the last few hundred years. They like warm places to live that are not too dry, so a human home is perfect. Without predators, their numbers keep growing, and that's when they start to cause problems. Insects become pests when too many of them enter houses or eat crops. Whizzing dragonflies. Dragonflies are some of the fastest insect flyers in the world. They are hunters. They use their speed to chase other insects through the air. They swoop down to grab prey from the surface of water or nearby plants. Dragonflies start life underwater. They grab small insects to eat with their jaws. A dragonfly has four narrow wings and a long, slender abdomen. It also has huge eyes for tracking fast-moving prey. How do dragonflies fly? Dragonflies are truly amazing flyers. They can fly in all directions, including backward. They can even hover in one place, just like a helicopter. Their wings beat 30 times a second, when high-speed cameras are used to slow down a dragonfly's movements, they show the secret to their flying skills. All four wings moving at their own speed and in different directions. Let me skip this page. Amazing insects. Here are some other insects that didn't get their own page in the book. This is an ant lion, a dobson fly, an earwig, water strider, stalk eyed fly, tiger beetle. Working with insects. There are a million, a million species or types of insects so there is a lot to learn about them. Although insects are very rare in the ocean, they are found just about everywhere on land. Even though insects are small and can be hard to see, they play an important role in wildlife communities. 
This man is an entomologist, a scientist who studies insects. This is a beekeeper. He looks after honeybees and give the bees a place to live inside a hive. These people are farmers. A farmer is someone who grows crops or keeps livestock to sell for food. That is the end. That was a long book, Happy Hippos, but you made it. What kind of insects can you find outside? Can you find any of these insects? You know what else I found on the cover? Teeny tiny ants. I didn't even see them the first time. They were so small. See you later, hippos.